Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn life of session in Palo Alto Firewall and this is very important topic if you are doing any network troubleshooting in the live network. So for example if we have this diagram, okay, we have the Palo Alto Firewall and we have two PC1 and PC2. Both are connected with Palo Alto Firewall. So when we are making communication between PC1 and PC2, so first of all this Palo Alto firewall will create a session ID as as per the flow basic diagram. Uh, this uh, Palo Alto firewall will create a session ID by using these PC1 and PC2 details and it will make an entry in the flow lookup table. So while while creating this session ID and making entry in the flow lookup flow lookup table uh, there will be several session state so in this video we will does we, we are going to discuss those states for example i have taken a screenshot okay to explain this and you can verify these state by by executing this command show session id all and here we can see the application that is pink and we can see the state is active active means we are allowing the packet and we are making an entry in the flow lookup table and you can also see the source IP zone and protocol and the destination IP zone and the pro protocol. So all the information you can see in the show, show session all. And we, I have one more um, diagram, one more uh, screenshot. So here we are discarding the packet and here you can see the application is ping and the state is discard. Type is flow, flag is NS and the source IP and destination IP you can see. So we are uh, in this video we will discuss about these state active discard flow in it. So there are several states in the Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so here we can see we have these these states in the Palo Alto firewall. We have init, opening, active, discard, closing, closed, and free. So we are going to discuss each one by one. And first one we have the init state. Okay, so first one is init state. Okay. And it is the stable. Stable means uh, you will able to see uh, init state in the show session all command. However, transient mean you transient meaning means you will not able to see uh, these states in the show session all command. Okay. So init means uh, it is just a initial state of the session and it is it just got freed and and it is trying to return to the free pool. So that is the init state and then we have the opening state means it means that session is allocated however there is no entry in the flow lookup table. So the firewall does not made uh, like it doesn't created any entry in the flow lookup table. However session is allocated, allocated for those source IP and destination IP. And next one is active state. It, it is a stable state so you will able to see in the show session all command so this is uh, this is this means uh, like session is created and Palo Alto firewall had uh, like it already had made uh, it already had made some entry in the uh, flow lookup table so uh, in the active state we have created this session and we also made some entry in the flow lookup table discard state means we have discarded the packet However, we still have the entry in the flow lookup table. We have, uh, we haven't removed that entry from the flow lookup table. That is the discard state. And closing, this is also a transient state. It means that you will not able to see in the show session all command. And it means that the session is set to be expired immediately, but has not been removed from the flow lookup table. So that that session is uh, it is set to the expired, but however the entry is still there in in the flow lookup table, and any other packet matching to this this session will be discarded. Okay, and next one is the closed. This is also a transient state. The session is expired and removed from the flow lookup table. So here we are removing the entry in the, when it is closed state. And next one is uh, that is last one it is free and it is also a transient state so session is removed from the flow lookup table and the aging process but has yet to return to the free pool and next uh, so these all are the state in the palo alto firewall 
and next we are going to take an example to like to discuss this okay so i have created this topology diagram in gns3 so this is our palo alto firewall and we have pc1 and pc3 <coughs> and pc1 is uh, it is in trust zone trust zone and pc2 is it is in untrust zone so right now like as of now the, i have created a policy on palo alto firewall and i have allowed the packet from trust to untrust so we are going to ping from pc1 to pc3 and we will check what is the state in the palo alto firewall okay so we are going to ping from pc1 okay and we will ping from pc uh, so this is pc3 ip address okay 50.1 and i am giving count 100 okay so let's try to ping so we can see we are able to ping now we will check the session okay show session all so here you can see uh, lots of session or oh, we can see the application okay uh, the state you can see it is active state it means that a session is allocated to the source ip and destination ip and it and it also had made entry in the flow lookup table so here you can see the source ip address that is 10.1 and what is the source zone you can see it is trust okay and then <clears throat> uh, then you can see see the destination ip address that is 50.1 and what is the destination zone it is on trust okay so as of now we we are able to ping okay okay uh, now I am going to change the policy on this Palo Alto firewall. Okay, here you can see the action is allowed. So I will change this action now. Now I'm I will set it to drop. Okay, so commit. After commit is successful, then again we are going to verify the states. So commit is successful. Let's verify the session states. You can see now we are unable to ping. So again we will check the session state. You can see the discard state. So here you can see the ping application and the state is discard. And you can see the source IP and destination IP. And you can see the source zone and the destination zone. Okay and next again we are going to uh, we are going to change the state let's see whether we still able to see the state or not or we are giving deny state okay i think we will not able to see the state when it is in deny state because packet is getting denied itself from the palo alto firewall so once commit is successful we will verify this uh, session again So now session uh, commit is successful. Let's verify the. So now there is no session. Means when we are discarding the packet, we are not creating any session. Okay. So that's all about uh, this video. Okay. So you can go through it. And if you have any query, you can leave the comment in the comment box. And I'll try to get back you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.